Engines come in all different shapes and sizes. It's usually said that the bigger the engine, the more horsepower and torque it will have. So what we wanted to do is take a look at engines by the cylinder and find out how much power they put out. From a one-cylinder to an incredible 16-cylinder engine, we find out what the most powerful engine is. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. One cylinder. It might sound strange that single cylinder engines exist, but they do, and there's a lot of reasons you would want one, especially on a motorcycle. In 2012, KTM built the KTM 690 Duke, which claimed to have more power and less weight. That's because it is the most powerful single cylinder motorcycle on the market, and the 654cc engine puts out 70 horsepower. Along with having less weight, the motor is super smooth and has a balanced shaft to keep vibration from the mug-sized piston. In fact, the smoothness is supposed to rival multi-cylinder engines. Two cylinders, Fiat 0.9 liter. Small engines are getting more impressive because of better manufacturing, but it still might come as a surprise that there is a two-cylinder engine that produces 103 horsepower. The engine is the Fiat 0.9 liter parallel twin that is also turbocharged in which some of you might say, hey, that's cheating. If you're wondering what car is running around with this engine, look no further than the small Fiat 500. Two-cylinder 1.2 liter, the Volkswagen XL Sport. That last two-cylinder engine wasn't bad, but of course, there's always something better. In October of 2014, Volkswagen unveiled a real trick looking car called the XL Sport. The fun thing is this car looked like it might be hiding at least a six-cylinder engine inside somewhere. Nope. The car instead has the most powerful two-cylinder engine in the world, which is the Ducati 1199 Superleggera motorbike. A motorcycle engine in a car? Sure, especially when it puts out 197 brake horsepower. Add that to a slippery carbon monarch micro car weighing just 1,962 pounds, 890 kilograms, and that spells some serious performance. Three cylinder Ford Fiesta ST 1.5 EcoBoost. No one really thinks much about the Ford Fiesta. It's not a sports car with only a 1.5 liter engine. Or is it? Don't be fooled by this one if you see it on the street. The small three-cylinder engine is turbocharged and puts out 197 brake horsepower at 6,000 RPM and a surprising 214 foot-pounds of torque, starting at 1,600 to 4,000 RPM. Now that's impressive for such a small engine to have that kind of bottom-end torque. The Fiesta can do 0 to 62 in 6.5 seconds and get the car to a top speed of 144 miles per hour, 231 kilometers per hour, and the sweetest thing just might be economy of the engine, which gets 55 miles per gallon. Four-cylinder Mercedes AMG CLA 45. Well, we finally make it to the four cylinders, and we have a feeling that no matter what we put here, it's going to be highly debatable which four-cylinder is the most powerful. Well, how about a turbocharged inline four-cylinder that pumps out 375 horsepower and an equally impressive 350 foot-pounds of torque? The engine came in the Mercedes-AMG CLA45 and GLA45 models. Both these cars pack the most powerful four-cylinder engine in the world. We'd like to go for a ride in one, so let us know if one is in your driveway. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution XFQ440MR Car manufacturers sometimes create some really cool car to celebrate their anniversary. And that is what Mitsubishi did when they released the Lancer Evolution XFQ440MR that had a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine that had an HKS turbocharger slapped on it. This small-liter engine cranks out a ludicrous 440 brake horsepower and 412 foot-pounds of neck-snapping torque. The sad and probably a good thing for some drivers is that the company only built 40 of them for the United Kingdom at a price of $82,725 each, 18-inch forged BBS alloy wheels included. Five cylinders, Audi 2.5 liter. And now we enter the realm of odd, as in the odd-numbered amount of engine cylinders. 
These engines aren't as common as the four- or six-cylinder engines, but they make quite a bit of horsepower. The 2.5-liter inline five-cylinder engine actually puts out a respectable 400 horsepower. The cars they put them in were the Audi RS3 sedan and TTRS in case you want to try one out. Six Cylinders Porsche 3.8 Liter Boxer Porsche is known for its ingenuity when it comes to refining their product. The engines are phenomenal, and when it comes to fast, the Porsche 911 GT2 RS is one of the most brutal sports cars out there which packs the six-cylinder 3.8-liter boxer engine. This amazing engine puts out 690 brake horsepower and 553 foot-pounds of torque. That engine is powerful enough to propel the GT from 0 to 62 in just 2.8 seconds, and it will do double that 0 to 124 miles per hour in just 8.3 seconds for when you got to get somewhere fast. Eight-cylinder Coenseg Regera Moving on to the 8-cylinder engines, we can already hear some of your guesses as to what the most powerful 8-cylinder engine is. And it's going to surprise you, no doubt, and there will be some bickering and arguing. But as it turns out, the most powerful V8 engine belongs to the Koenigsegg Regera, which is a limited production car with a screaming twin-turbo 5.0-liter engine that produces 1,100 horsepower at 7,800 RPM and 944 foot-pounds of torque at 4100 RPM. It's enough to be snapping transmission gears. A little bit off-topic, but worth mentioning, is that's not all the power the car has, as the V8 works in conjunction with three Yasa electric motors with a total added capacity of 697 horses and 664 foot-pounds of torque, just in case the 1100 horsepower isn't enough for you. 10 cylinders Lamborghini 5.2 liter V10. If we listed all the V8s that were powerful, we'd be here all night, and that might be for another video. So instead, we move on to the Lamborghini 5.2 liter V10 that you would find in the Hurricane Performante. This engine has titanium valves and is one of the top production V10s in the world and puts out 630 horsepower and 443 foot pounds of torque. It's powerful enough for a 0 to 62 time of 2.9 seconds and can push the car to a top speed of 202 miles per hour, 325 kilometers per hour. There is a lot more cool stuff about this car, but we're here for the engines. Now, of course, by now, some of you are talking about another car with a V10. Don't worry, we got that covered. Dodge Viper ACR if you thought that the Lambo Hurricane was powerful, then you didn't know about the Dodge Viper, which some say brought the V10 cylinder engine into popularity. The ACR had an 8.2 liter 10 cylinder engine that beat the Lambo by producing 645 horsepower, 600 foot pounds of torque. And what a mean engine for a mean looking machine. The only problem with this car? Well, you can forget taking it on a road trip unless you plan to stop at each available gas station along the way. The car only had a 16-gallon tank and got 21 miles to a gallon of gas on the highway. Regardless, the Dodge Viper is still a very cool car with a very powerful engine. 12 cylinders, Ferrari 6.5 liter V12. While we had a lot of fun with those V10s, it's time to move on to bigger and badder things. Of course, now we're talking about V12 engines. And there's no doubt that Ferrari makes one of the most powerful production 12-cylinder engines on the market. The 6.5-liter V12 engine in the 812 Superfast puts out 789 horsepower, and there's no turbos or superchargers there helping. This makes it the most powerful, naturally aspirated Ferrari road car ever built. The engine is powerful enough to push the car from 0 to 60 in just 2.9 seconds and get it to a top speed of 190 miles per hour, 305 kilometers per hour. 16 cylinders, Bugatti 8.0 liter W16. When it comes to needing more power, then adding cylinders is what some manufacturers do. Well, when it comes to 16 cylinders, the Bugatti 8.0 liter W16, it is one of the largest engines by volume and it has helped getting air in the cylinders using four turbos. These turbochargers help the engine produce an astounding 1,479 horsepower, 1,180 pound-feet of torque. Everyone knows how fast the Bugatti Chiron is and if you don't, it has a top speed of 260 miles per hour, 420 kilometers per hour 
and just last year, Bugatti said that their engine will soon have even more power. Devil 16 Prototype While the Bugatti might seem like it's the king of big engine cars, there is one prototype out there that had everyone calling foul back in 2013, when a car called the Devil 16 was revealed at the Dubai Motor Show. Some say the car looked like a cheap Lamborghini Egoista knockoff, but it wasn't so much the design that had people saying it was fake. But the 5,000 horsepower V16 engine, which is the top option in the car for engine choices. And even though the car looked like it was some kind of joke back in 2013, they have manufactured a prototype that is incredibly cool looking. No one is sure about that 5,000 horsepower claim, but we could possibly see this car in production soon. British Racing Motors V16 We end our video with something really special. Not because it's something that was designed with incredible futuristic technology. No, this engine had 16 cylinders and was designed back in 1947 and raced from 1954 to 1955. It was British Racing Motors V16, and it was built to compete in Formula One racing. The engine cranked out 600 brake horsepower at 12,000 RPM. However, some test figures from Rolls-Royce said the engine would be able to run up to 14,000 RPM. That's totally crazy for a big engine with so many cylinders, almost even scary. The engine was very complex, and of course, it was exceptionally powerful for its time. The interesting thing is how the engine was designed by putting two V8 engines back-to-back -back with cam drives and gears in the center of the engine. Many people were in on its design and 350 companies ended up offering their support in its development. The car they put this engine in was specially designed for the engine and was the BRM Type 15. This engine was certainly the king during its day.